Boom and Shagalaka. Jam Home, the number one arcade phenomenon. From outrageous tomahawk jams to wild full court shots, you control the super moves. Amazing blocks and awesome slam dunks of 54 of the NBA's hottest stars. Ultra realistic digitized graphics and play by play. Four player adaptable for true arcade competition. NBA Jam puts you on the court and above the rim. And this is NBA Jam. Not to be confused with the Tournament Edition, from Iguana Entertainment, published by Acclaim, released in March of 1994. It's part of that NBA Jam franchise, and you know what? NBA Jam, pretty big deal, really. Uh, started out as an arcade game, ported over to the Super Nintendo, the Genesis, the Game Beer, the, the Game Beer, the Game Boy, the Game Gear, and the Sega CD. There you go. Uh, two-on-two basketball, and while it was not the first two-on-two uh, game like this. Um, it was kind of based on Arch Rivals, which was a thing. Uh, this is the one that really brought success to the genre and to the game. Um, dig this. Generated a significant amount of money for arcades, creating revenue of $1 billion in quarters. Think about that. Uh, in early 1994, the Amusement and Music Operators Association reported that NBA Jam was the highest earning arcade game of all time. <laughs> now, of course, that's been quite a while ago, but still, that is a that is a milestone, really. We had a couple of spin-offs, like Tournament Edition, which just kind of upgraded the roster, has some Easter eggs, and some gameplay stuff was changed. Uh, you could have three players, though only two could be on court at a time. Um, we had rookie teams, which had five players, all picked from the draft. You could be substituted in between quarters. It really took everything that was good about the original and added some things that made it just better. There you go. Tournament Edition... Um, was ported over to the Super Nintendo, the Genesis, the 32X, the Game Boy, the Game Gear, the Sega Saturn, the PlayStation, and the Jaguar. So that's a thing. Uh, the test version had six hidden characters, which were taken out of the final version at the request of the NBA. They featured Evilicious, Grim Reaper, Kong, Raiden, Reptile, and Sub-Zero. Midway also stated they would update all test version cabinets to remove those characters once they had been in the arcade for a little while. Uh, the four reviewers of EGM gave it a unanimous 9 out of 10 and Game of the Month. They praised the graphics, sound, and four-player mode. They remarked it's easy to pick up and incredibly fun to play, even if you don't like sports games. Uh, reviewing the Genesis version, Mike Weigland commented that the voices are fuzzy, the colors are a bit bland, but it's fun. EGM rated the Game Gear version as weaker than either of the other two due to the removal of most of the jams, but said it was still worthwhile for Game Gear owners. So don't don't worry, Game Gear owners. There's at least one game you could play. Uh, I have fun playing NBA Jam. I have fun playing Tournament Edition more. But you know what? There's not a big enough difference to really need to have them both. Good game. 